All right, everyone. So this is the Northeast Non-League Show video vlog number five, and tonight we're going to be going around to watch Sunderland West End versus Billingham Town. Very cold, wet, windy night, but what excites you even more is the Northern League. Let's go around there tonight, and I would imagine it's going to be a cracking game of football uh, between two good sides as well. Starting with Sunderland West End sitting eighteenth in the league. Um, only seven games left, uh, which you think end of February, you think you'd have a lot more games left, but obviously on the 3G, 4G pitch, sorry, uh, they can get their games played where other teams can't. Since December, uh, played 8, won 5, drawn none and lost 3, so 5 wins out of 8, which is really good. Uh, like I say, the new management team, which we spoke to on our channel, and we spoke to a couple of times in our video vlog, doing great things down there. Uh, very young side, uh, but they're playing some great football at times. The, the young lads are not hiding, they want to get the ball at the feet, want to take on players, very hungry to show what they can do at this level and it's always really great to see and it's nice to see both the Steves getting there, uh, they, they're getting the best out of the lads down there at West End as well. Uh, and to be fair, the losses that they've had against Horden, Bentley and Chester Street Town, very close games, very, very close games and especially the games against Horden and Bentley who's right up there like Billingham uh, tonight haven't been outclassed or nothing really put up a good fight so it was really interesting tonight to see what they can do again against a good side like Billingham Town um, as well like you see a few wins now between now and the end of the season I think it's quite crucial for West End again they don't know how many teams are going to be going up how many teams are going to go down so I think they still need a couple of more wins just to get out of that uh, scrap at the bottom but like you say a couple of wins in this division at the moment it's that tight you could end up finishing the top 10 and that's how close things are this season which is really great Two new signs this week, Glenn Lane and Jay Martin coming in. Uh, so hopefully we might see them in action tonight. Getting on to Billingham Town, sitting fifth in the league with 10 games left. And I think we're in that bit of a poor run between November, mid-January. But you've got to think, yes, it sounds quite big because of the months. But because there was only four games that they played, it sounds a bit worse than what it was. A bit of a blip uh, at that time. But since then, a great draw against Horden. And then five wins in a row against Wrighton, Willington, Bolden, Chesley Street United and Bedlton. Some cracking wins in there as well. So I think the lads, the team, the management are now full of confidence to push on and hopefully um, challenge for that title come the end of the season as well. Eight points off the top. Um, can they still do it? Of course they can. Anybody's dropping points at the moment. That shows in Division 1 and Division 2 as well. So yeah, gonna should be a cracking game. A lot of experience so for Billingham. Like you say, a lot of players signed from right up last season playing Division 1 football. The lads know exactly what they're doing. Great experience. I mean, you go through the side, you've got the likes of James Winter and Ed, played Northern League for many years now. Uh, great leader on the pitch, captain voice on the pitch as well, which you just need at times. Uh, you've got the likes of Pound, uh, Pounder, Bird in there as well. Some cracking players. And like you say, the new management team of Paul Wardle and Chris Barker. Uh, sorry, Baker down there as well. Two cracking lads who... Like you see, had a little blip at the start, but now they've seen the rewards and the hard work that they're putting in. So yeah, should be a cracking game. Really looking forward to it. Going to take them part around tonight um, as well. So he absolutely loves going around. He meets, always meets new friends from the home side, the way side, and just have a little bit of play around uh, when, the, when the lads are playing football. It's always great to see it not this non-league level. Obviously, people just not sitting in seats. You get what you're walking around. There's people with the dogs. There's people on mobility scooters. Kids playing football. It's what non-league's all about, and that's why we love it, don't we? But yeah, score prediction night, I'm going for a 2-0 or a 3-0 win for Billingham. I think Sullen West will match them for a lot of the period of time, but I think if, we're, if Billingham do get that first goal, I think that's where, not when the floodgates come open, but I think then the quality then will step up and possibly get them goals at them crucial times. But I think it'll be a cracking game uh, for the neutral going down as well. But yeah, got lots coming up after this now. Uh, lots of videos from the night, so please keep watching. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe and help us hit that 800 subscribers. Thank you. Here we are with Steve, just before we play Billingham Town tonight. Steve, just yeah, your thoughts on the game tonight? Tonight, tough game. Um, we've had a couple of late pullouts there. Um, Brad Oliver, the uh, work commitments, and Glenn Lane just couldn't quite make tonight. Uh, new, new signing, but couldn't make tonight. But we've got, got a strong 15. Um, we should be okay. This will be a tough game because he's a good side. Yeah, it seems quite strange for kind of end of February getting on to March and only seven games left it seems to have flown over this season but it's very important now to get some wins between now and the end of the season and push up that table isn't it? Yeah, um, it's tight down the bottom, teams teams are winning but we've just got to look after ourselves and just keep doing what we've been doing for the last few weeks as we've stuck together as a team, football's good um, apart from last week against Bedley um, but playing some good stuff and we're getting results, but we just need to keep it going, keep our concentration, and we'll, we'll be fine. Yeah, even you mentioned the defeats against Horden, Bentley, two good sides in the league, and it's been very close in them games as well, hasn't it? Mm. Close. We're disappointed with the Bentley performance because, because of the performance. Not the result, 
you look at the results two out against the team at second top mm. okay but performance wise wasn't good enough and we're looking to change that tonight and we, we hope to bounce back with a, a real solid performance tonight excellent i know all the hard work you've been putting as well i mean the last eight games won five out of them and it's really good now isn't it picking up the points and getting that player now on the pitch and seeing your style of player the players getting out there and doing the job for you mm. yeah listen the lads are doing us exactly what we're asking them to do they to the letter in fact the uh we don't we work hard in training um when it comes to a match day, we give them specific instructions and they're carrying it out. To be fair, the lads have been brilliant. They've been really good since we came. So, and a couple of signs this, uh, this week as well, Glenn yeah. uh, coming in and, uh, as well. And What do you think about them two lads coming in? Well, Glenn trained with us on Tuesday evening, trained really well. Um, just unfortunately couldn't make tonight. Um, and Jay, who's been at the club before, um, and from what I can gather, I mean, I've, we've seen that boy plays. He's blood and thunder. Um, it'll give us something different. Um, not that we want to, we want to change the way we're playing, but sometimes you need that little bit of extra, little bit of X factor in there. He might bring that tonight. We've got to look. Well, then, no good luck for the game. Thanks very much, James. Here we are with Steve as well. Steve, just yet, your thoughts going to the game tonight? Yeah, uh, another tough game. I'm saying to say that every week. <laughs> um, I know it will be a really tough game. Leeds has obviously gone for promotion. Um, they're a very good side. I think there's a lot of little old riot lads who was played in Division 1. Um, still still stayed at Billingham. Um, so the, it's, going to be it's going to be a tough game. Um, we're not quite at full strength tonight. Quietly confident, obviously, but um, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be a difficult game. Yeah, I'm just saying the last eight games won five of them as well. It's been a really good spell for the club the last few weeks, hasn't it? It's been really good. Um, from since me and Steve came in, it's been nothing but positive um, vibes from people, really. Um, I know I spoke to the chairman, and the chairman said that he felt like the club was only heading in one direction, and that was relegation. Um, so we've come in and, and we've, we've strung a good few uh, wins together couple of draws um, we've played a lot of the top teams as well in that spell so it's been it's been a di it's been difficult um, but it's the nitty-gritty now the trouble that we that we've had is is the teams around us has also been yeah. they've picked up and they start winning as well uh, I think it's a much stronger league than it was last year uh, so the, the teams at the bottom you know the the tough it's tough every game's tough so, um, like I said, tonight's no, uh, going to be no exception. Um, we just have to keep going and see where see where that takes us in the season. Yeah, like you say, some even some of the big games that you played, the, the Bedlington uh, games, stuff like that. You haven't been second best. You've been in the games. I think on social media, it's nice to see a lot of the, the ground hoppers going around saying how well he's are playing, and I think that's just credit yourself and the squad, isn't it? It is. It is. Uh, we're quite young as well. Um, we've been allowed by West End uh, to bring some of the youngins through and. And, and it's, it's bearing fruits, and, and it will bear fruits as, you know, for next season. That there's, there'll be another year older, there'll be more experienced. Um, but yeah, like, we played Bedlington the other week, but I think Bedlington was second when we played them, and, and we were in the game. We were in the game, and we missed a we missed a chance at one 0 down to go one up, and I think that was the um, the, the turn up, the telling point in the game. So if we took that chance. I think we could have went on and got something out of the game. We could have hung on to something, but because we were pushing, pushing, and pushing, and pushing yeah. for that equaliser, then they caught us with a, a bit of a sucker punch. Um, but we weren't, we weren't happy with the performance. We, we, we told the lads that we thought we were too long ball. I know the pitch, the pitch wasn't great, so we can't really play our our passing style as, as much as we as we wanted to. Um, I think it suited Bellington with that three big lads up front, and they just they just hit them at every opportunity and. That's what you find in this this league. We're finding quite a lot that um, teams do hit them from the from big lads. We haven't got that luxury because we haven't got any big lads yeah. up front. <laughs> so uh, we quite I, I would say we're probably the smaller side in the league. So we we've got to play football and get it down, which we wouldn't have it any other way. Excellent. No best luck for tonight as well. Brilliant. Thank you.
half time, Sunderland Western nil, Billingham two. So it's 2 0 here at Billingham at half time. Very good game for the neutral. I think it's been a cracking first half uh, watching on. Very cold, wet, windy here at Ford Hub today. Um, but I think the football has been absolutely fantastic. West End switched off very um, towards the end of the first half and it's very paid. Two goals gone in. Um, it could be a tough second half for them. But you know what it is? They, they, they put up a great battle for the first kind of 35 to 40 minutes and they go in 2 0 down at half time. I think the Southern West End managers were very disappointed with that last 10 minutes. Kind of a couple of players switching off, little sloppy passes, and the ball's ended up batting there twice. But yeah, still 45 minutes to go. You never know. West End have been in this the first half, so they still come out the second half and hopefully get a point or even more the second half. But I think Billiam is just starting to grow in the game a little bit more and they've kind of shown the class of why they're up there at the top end of the table. Uh, but we'll see what happens in the second half. So it's full time, Sunderland West End nil, Billingham Town free, and just walking back from the game now. Patrick, have you enjoyed the game? Yes. Yeah, you made lots of new friends? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What about football is all about, making new friends from Billingham. Um, we'll absolutely love it, class for Northern League. But yeah, just back to the game itself, and we quick thoughts, I think, going into the game. It was always going to be a tough game for West End, but the first 35 minutes they did held their own against a very good side. But in the end, there the experience and a bit more quality that Billiam had uh, really did show, and Billiam came away with the three points and hopefully move on to the next game with uh, both sides. And all West End's now looking over the shoulder. How many teams may possibly go down? Only I think seven games left uh, after today, so they need to start picking up a couple more points. And Billiam now obviously after that win tonight, chasing for the top of the league as well. So it's going to be a really interesting few weeks for both sides. Um, but great game overall. Um, I thought it was very good, especially the first half. Some quality football played. And I know Sunderland West End will be disappointed with the scoreline. Um, the way that they played the first opening half an hour. But yeah, that's the final time, uh, full-time score. Sorry, Sunderland West End nil, Billingham Town 3.